Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Main Magic 2. As per usual, we're just gonna jump on in here, and I guess today, like... Man, I don't know. We could do some overworld exploring, I guess. I think this is... I don't... I don't think we want to do overworld exploring outside of Atlantium. I think that's probably a little dangerous. Uh, let's jump back to Middle Gate. And I'm gonna go ahead and auto toggle it onto the world map. It won't show us like any of the areas that we've explored because we're not actually on it yet, but there it goes. All right, so I really want to figure out how to get into Korax Cavern. Like we need, um, they're not Korax Cavern. We need the, we need the, another admit eight pass and I can't remember where we got it. I thought we got it in the dungeon under Middle Gate, but apparently we did not. It might have been the dungeon under Sanzibar or it might just actually be a random encounter for all I know. Um, but I guess I'm not in that big of a hurry. I should probably be, like, looking into getting some spells for my casters. Sure. I just drank from a fountain. I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Are we dead? All our stats look okay, as far as I can see. No idea. Not gonna worry about it. It didn't do anything negative. Nobody was disintegrated. Or anything like that, so I am perfectly comfortable. So, alright, we're gonna start just exploring this area. Good old, uh, what is this, C3 I think we're in? So yeah, just start, you know, mowing the lawn. See what we got here. Mark, a whistling hermit yells, where are my keys? We want to remember that. You don't have my keys, get the rope and hang them high. Alright. All right. Wait, what? Fucking Drog's dead! Okay, so apparently because we didn't have his keys, he just killed Drog. Man, that's... Kinda dickish? Let's go to Tandara, I guess. Alright, I know how we get his keys. There's an NPC somewhere. And they ask us, like, what has Mark lost? And you tell him his keys, and I think they just give you his keys. Hello, Temple. Thankfully... Oh, hireling healing is free, apparently. Sure! <laughs> I'll take it. God, teleportation magic so great! I'm struggling with how I want to do... Because, like, I want to be able to, like, let players do teleportation magic in, in games that I make, but I struggle... I, I was going to say, I believe if we're not careful out here that we'll get hit by avalanches, which is what that was that just popped us back to town there. It's just certain squares. A blizzard blinds the party. Okay. After that, oh, oh. So it dealt damage to us and it also teleported us to just like a random place. That's wonderful. Thankfully it's mountains, which I can actually just kind of putter through. A frozen fountain's water swirls under a bed of ice. Break and drink. Sure. Oh, I already did. What did it do? Oh, oh, that one bumped all of our levels. Like, everybody's level 25. So now my question is, is that a one-time use? Because, like, if... I shouldn't say a one-time use. If, if I get into a combat, is it going to wear off? If that's like a permanent effect until I sleep, that's really fucking good. You find a lone deserted outpost on the edge of the elemental plane of air. As you sift through the ruins, an ancient scroll is found bearing the lost spell, Air Transmutation. Alright, that's a cleric spell which Goldleaf can cast now. Sure. And yeah, all of this, like this area here, is you can see it on the map, it says, you know, elemental plane of air. Oh, well, it would! It would if I remembered to do this and swap my profile over to 720p. Just a second. I really hate making work for myself, but sometimes I do it. And like, this is this is trouble of my own doing because I record this in 720p, but I record Biomenace, which is also a DOSBox game in 1080p. And were I to start playing this now, I would be recording this in 1080p as well and just upscaling it but I don't like swapping formats and stuff around in the middle of, like, a Let's Play, so I kind of stick with what I've got. And in this case, it bit me in the arse. That's okay. 
That's okay. So let's see. We're not going to be able to explore. Oh, avalanche. This is going to kick us back to town, I think. No. Where am I? Bottom of the map. Another. It bounced me into another avalanche. That's wonderful. Where am I? Oh, no. Nah, I'm outside of town. And Ro <laughs> Rove is dead. All right. We're not going to explore this area any more than we have. That... The 20, all right, the 25 level fountain also wore off. I don't know if that was because of time passing or what. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna have to pay for this one, sadly. On the upside, we're still low level, so it's not really that expensive. Oh, God damn it! Cast 551. Ooh, an idea has struck me. All right. So a smarter man would have popped a Lloyd's beacon down at this thing. So that I could teleport to it? Because I, I could say we could do the encounter in town against a snow beast, right? Because we could go hit that, become level 25, we'll be badass killing machines, and we should be able to kill the snow beast before it kills us tentatively. Alas, I don't think that's going to be... Uh, we'll try it. I'm going to just try to straight for it. A snowdrift sweeps the party away. Ah, okay, we're... We're close, though. So, yes, I want to do this. All right, everybody's level 25. We've taken a little bit of damage. Now, we'll teleport. One, two, three. Wait, what? Spell failed. All right, can I cast it here? No. It's probably because, if I had to guess, it's because we're on an overland map. Normally, you want to use fly. Okay, so there we go. We're in town. Now, if I go to an inn or anything, it's going to screw me over. So, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? We're going to have to, like... We're going to have to do this the right way, otherwise I'm going to get trapped in the room with the snow beasts. So, what I'm going to do... Okay, 8, cast, 5, 5, because this is the, the lever right here. Yeah. Okay, I don't believe we can teleport in... Here, can we? Yeah. All right, so we have to go out and fight all these. Fuck. Run. There we go. All right. Oh, but it reset our levels. Shit. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, my shenanigans are not going to work for us here, alas. At least not yet. We're going to need to just be higher level, I think. That's okay. I'm not worried. As I've mentioned, it suggested you be, like level 15 before you even start working on the main quest line, so I'm actually pretty pleased with the progress that we've made thus far. I'll just go ahead and map here. The water in this fountain is frozen solid. Break it. Uh, sure. Okay, so this one... Yeah, this one bumped everybody's might up. Okay. Sure. Chopping the tall trees of the Timberlands, muscular men sing, Oh, I'm a lumberjack. They challenge you to fell a tree, except... Sure. We just got hit by a mite fountain, so I'm hoping that we're strong enough. Who will try to be strong enough? We'll let Brunhilde do it, because she has... Actually, she has a Flamberg. Yeah, whatever. Well done, Brute. Your prize is an instant keep. Okay. I think that just lets us rest, if... If I remember correctly, let me check the item list here really quick. Uh, yes, it casts Shelter. One use. All right, it's worth 5,000 gold pieces. Can we, like, repeat that? Wrong way. Yes. Seriously? Oh, wow. All right, so, like, infinite instant keeps. I guess, cool. So let's come down here. We're just going to follow this mountain line, I think. I'll follow the mountains down, and then we'll just clear everything that's on this side of them. Woodsman. Oh, you guys. This is the first fight. We're, I don't know, what, maybe 10 minutes in here? And this is our first, like, actual combat that I'm taking part in, as opposed to just fleeing from, like, the, like those wyverns. A barrage of molten metal, all for a pittance in gold. Okay, well, this is, I guess, the end of the, uh... A great fruit tree rises majestically above you. The sun beams off a huge golden mango. Pick and eat? Sure. Like, I'm just doing everything because, like, the worst that's gonna happen is it's gonna kill me. Uh, this one looks like it cranked our intellect up to 65, which is pretty good. 
All right, we're not gonna go out into the snow because the snow is bad. I think we can probably actually kill minor devils. Maybe the fireballs are gonna be, yeah. I just poorly run, Drog. Oh, you tried. And death strikes. And now we are back in Atlantium. Alas. All right, let's go back to uh, Middle Gate. Let's go out of Middle Gate. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maps. We are on the surface and we are in C2. There we go. Man, I really wish that the auto map tracking in this worked. Like, the game tracks my map properly because I have a secondary window that shows me, like, what your current area is. Um, but for whatever reason, like, the auto tracking just does not auto track. I don't know why. All right, let's, come on game, let me move. There we go. Weird. Cause I think, I think it's, yes, I was gonna say, I think it's this mountain range where you can fight Cuisinarts. So these things are worth 2 million experience points a piece, but they frenzy. So as you can see, they hit really hard. And the goal is to just survive. Because, as you can see, they kill themselves, right? So, no, nobody in my party is dead. So if I had something right now that could heal everybody, because they can only kill six people per turn. If I had something that could heal everybody, we could tentatively survive this and earn a shitload of XP, because even if they kill themselves, we still get rewards for it. Because, for <laughs> reasons... The problem is surviving, and I don't I don't think we have any way. Get him, Drog. You missed. Chunk. You missed. Like, you can see there, they hit 16 times. But, like, isn't that, like, I don't know. I just think that's really cool that they have stuff like that in this. Where it just these, like, random encounters that... You're never gonna survive if you if you try to do them like legit, so you gotta figure out how to abuse the game mechanics, and then it works. A bunch of orcs. I'm sorry, a bunch of orcs. I don't even care about your loot. Alright, this is where we wanna be. We wanna explore. Orcon Convention. Disrupt the unwashed orcs. <sighs> yeah, this is this is not going to be worth fighting. No, I'm not going to. That, that is a fight with 250 orcs. We could probably do it. It's just not going to be worth the time. The Grand Order of Merchants is holding a meeting. Disrupt. No, again, 250 merchants. Circus is that way. Some griffins. Ah, uh, these guys are actually really tough. 150 hit points. They attack five times each for a 1 to 25 damage, but they petrify you. However, there were 13,000 experience points. I'm going to try this. And just kind of hope that the melees can do enough. Oh, damn it. I accidentally attacked with Rove. He was, he's only unconscious. We're okay. Come on, Brunhilda. Chonk. It's got 34 hit points. Oh, so close. Gold Leaf. Heal Rove. Rove. Fireball it. Ah, oh, nice. Look at that, 5,000 XP a piece. Go ahead and try cracking it. Decent amount of gold, a mighty whip, which I think just gives you strength and a compass. We'll go ahead and rest. Continue exploring. More griffins, sure. Like they're dangerous, but they're not insurmountable. I just have to actually kind of not spam through all the fights. I'm gonna actually have some buffs here. Yes, heroism. Give it to Brunhilda. Because I think that's a damage buff or attacks or something. Yeah, it gave her. Uh, it actually gave her extra levels. She is now 17th level instead of 11th level, which nets her two extra attacks. I wish more of the buffs in this were party wide. Like, that's one thing that actually Might and Magic 1 has over this, I think, is that you get, like, buffs like leather skin and stuff, and they just affect your whole party. A Wind Staff, plus two. I think that lets you cast Lightning Bolt. Let me look. Air Encasement. I'm sorry, but it does give you bonus speed. 
I think actually Ro has one of those, doesn't he? He does. I'm gonna give that to Dark Mage. Because he doesn't actually have anything and extra speed, you know? But he's actually probably faster than Rove. Yeah. So he's probably. Dark Mage is probably gonna act first, then it'll be Rove, and then the rest of the party. More Griffins. Jesus, are these. Okay, these are actually forced encounters according to the mapping software. So. That's actually good, because that's like a way, if we want to, we can kind of like lightly grind here. Because like as far as deadly enemies go, these aren't. Man, my party, as far as I'm concerned, the initiative order is perfect. My two mages go first, then the rest of the party goes, and Gold Leaf goes last, so she can pull healing duty. Ah. Can't get much better than that. A plus three helm. Okay. Archers only. Coffin creeps. Okay, these are gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, because it's melee only and they drain all of our spell points, which they did, because of course. Baron Wilfrey refuses to be bothered by any except archers. And griffins. So that is our archer plus quest right there. Which will probably be a pain in the ass. Well... <laughs> Now, now that we know where a fountain that gives us 25 levels is, I'm actually much less worried. Because what I can do, once I get Lloyd's Beacon on Rove, or even Devon, um, I can have them, like, I'll have somebody throw a Lloyd's Beacon down on the fountain, and then have somebody throw a Lloyd's Beacon down at the actual, like, boss fight they've got to do. We'll just port, grab the 25 levels, port back, I'll dismiss everyone in the party except the person that has to do the quest, and let them absolutely trounce whatever they face. Tentatively, I hope 25 levels would be enough. Realistically, I honestly don't know, but I hope it would be. Well, this game has a ridiculously high level cap to it, I don't think it goes like too ridiculous level-wise. Accuracy gauntlets plus four. <laughs> Really? See, they're plus six accuracy, and you can use them for plus ten accuracy. Yeah. I actually don't think those are that great. I'm gonna actually give them to Brunhilda. Because she doesn't have anything in her extra slot because she doesn't use a shield. More griffins. I shit, I'm gonna run. I say I should have rested. Just gonna kind of explore all the forests and stuff here. Be careful not to get into another fight with Quee. Actually, I say get. Be careful not to get into another fight with Cuisinarts. Uh. Let's see where is Middlegate? Yes. I'm just gonna bop into Middlegate really quick and save at the end. There. Run away! I'm sure at this point in time, um, Dark Mage is actually probably ready to level. I'm sure we we might have multiple characters. Well, no, I don't think anybody else is. I think it was just him and maybe Drog. Uh, nope, just just Dark Mage is ready to level. Although Gold Leaf is actually nearing another level, and Drog is nearing another level, and so is Brunhilde. They all only take seven hundred sixty-eight thousand. Everybody else is like. 890,000. They're a substantial ways away. Except for Swell, because he got that extra 100k from doing the gourmand stuff. Okay, so these guys actually aren't bad. I just essentially need to rest after each fight. I mean, I'm not gonna auto-attack through them, but they could be worse. Alright, and we'll search. Oh, there it is, an admit eight pass. Rest. Everybody, we're going back to town. Yes. I do not want to do that. I want to save. If this gets stolen from me again, I'm going to be really pissed. <laughs> Maximum salts. All right, go to the link sheet. So now we want to go here. Yes. I believe this is Korax Cave. Alright, cast one five. Alright. Zombies. Oh, I accidentally just bumped into an encounter. Don't want to do that. Okay. 
Locked. Locked. Okay, so we have to unlock this. So, you four. All right. Walk through. You're admit. Eight passes taken at the door. Locked. U4. 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 Locked. Ah, uh, have we been robbed? I think we've been robbed again. Ah, uh, what? What is this? I'm like. Hmm. Cause like we tried to go in and the door is just locked. Why is my back in? Yeah, like the door is just locked. Like, ah, that is like such garbage. Cause if it's locked, that means we have like one chance for Chunk to pick the lock, and he's so bad, like so bad. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the game. I wanna try something. Oh, I get that amazing starting music. Go to town. So we should have it again. Yes. Alright, yes, we're safe scumming. If you have a problem with that, you can bite me. Uh chunk, miscellaneous. I'm just gonna fucking fill his inventory with thieves picks. Remove your armor, remove your Naginata, equip, equip. Remove the bow, equip, and you can drop that one. Alright, it's 114 thievery this time. A little bastard. Yes. Okay. Alright. Unlock chunk. Success. Admit eight passes taken. Unlock chunk. Success. There we go. We're surprised by a pack of undead, but I don't really care. Freaking game. Alright, so what are these are ma- oh, Alright, like, all of these are magic resistant. Actually, I take that back. The Night Stalkers are not. All of them can drain our stats, though, which is mildly worrying. Alright. Chunk is gonna be absolutely useless. Yeah. Nine points of damage. He's attacking for... It says three times for zero damage, but... I mean, he does a little bit. Hey, we actually kill everything with Turn Undead. That is a first. All right. Chunk. Remove your thieves' picks. Equip your ringmail, your Naginata. There. Jesus. That... Uh, that's just kind of crap. And we can't run from anything in here. Because if we run, it'll teleport us back to the entrance. So we have to be very careful. I don't think we actually need... I was going to say, I don't think we need our casters for this. I'm going to rest. Okay. Let's poke around a little bit. Raids... This is all just raids and night stalkers. This is madness. And then the melees come and everything dies. I mean, at least we're getting gems out of it. Like, actually a fair number of gems, too. Like, everybody is getting a small handful of them. Oh, this time we have phantoms and grave walkers. Phantoms drain magic, grave walkers drain levels. I don't know if that's permanent. But on the off chance it is, that makes them primary targets. Okay, they're destroyed. Phantoms have got some magic immunity, like some no-joke magic immunity. So do the raids, but they weren't as impervious as these guys were. Alright, we just got some gems. Phantoms and Gravewalkers. Again, we prioritize the Gravewalkers. Ah. Shoot. Shoot. Fight. All right, and these guys, our melees, can just kill. Search. Couple gems. How are we looking on food? 13. As far as I'm concerned, we have plenty. A berry. Oh, don't tell me. Game, you better not be, like, robbing me. It all. Oh, there's gonna be some salt here. More phantoms and grave walkers. 
Oh, and it's also apparently anti-magic. <laughs> That's not good. Thankfully, the Grave Walkers can only come at us one at a time. I don't- nobody has had levels drained yet. Cause you better believe that I'm keeping an eye out on that. Wow, fucking Dark Mage just took one of those things out with his, like, shaman's pipe or whatever. Alright, we're gonna rest before we search. Yeah, I was gonna say, just in case... Just in case, and I'm gonna rest again. Come on. Oh, yeah, we're in a anti-magic area. Of course we're not gonna be able to cast spells. Huh. I don't think I have, like, a... Unless maybe we're expected to teleport past it? I don't know. Because I think, uh, like, all the other areas in here, teleportation magic has been, like, a no-go. Damn it. Shoot. There we go. Alright. Gold Leaf can't do anything? What? Oh, we've had our spell points. Apparently the fan one of the phantoms got its drain magic off. It's okay. I mean, if nothing else, this is a good place to grind encounters for gems. I guess. Oh, there's something right there. I cannot help anyone but clerics and their robber assistants. Okay... Okay, so I assume that this encounter is gonna be a fight. Yep, just like on the other side. Hmm... So we have to find Korak's soul, I think, and bring it back to this square. And that'll let us get into his tomb. It has been meant, like, I know it's been, like, I've seen where his soul is located. I just don't know where it is off the top of my head. I'll have to troll through our old maps and stuff. Come on, get those. Ah, got one of the Grave Walkers. Good enough. Dang it, Chunk. It's Chunk. Chunk's actually dead. Wonderful. <sighs> Alright, so that's, I assume, everything. Yeah. Vikings. Sure. They're not resistant to magic. And Fireball exists. <laughs> I can't pick the lock. Alright. Some gold, some gems, plate mail plus five. I mean, that's not bad. Is it aligned? Uh, it is good aligned. Uh, if gold leaf can wear it, that'll be an upgrade for her, but I don't think she can. No, it's knights and paladins only. And swells plate armor is better than plate mail. <laughs> Nothing. All right, yeah. So I guess this was actually a bust. That mildly irks me. So we gotta find Korak's soul. And then once we do that, we can bring it back to the square. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. We can bring it back to this square. And when we do that, According to mapping software, it removes the barriers, like, over here and lets us get into the area. Woof. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna have to like, go through old stuff, and this is gonna just kick me out. Let's get out of here. Okay, go back to town. We will... Where's Chunk? Restore his condition. We'll rest. We'll hit the inn because I want to save the mapping that we did there. Let's go to Atlantium because we have some levels. Because that wasn't bad XP in there. 
Like now that now that our party is getting like a little bit of of beefiness to them, we can fight tougher enemies that are actually worth fairly good experience. All right, so Swell's actually ready to level. Bam, 18 hit points. Brunhilda's ready to level. Very nice. Drog is good. He just gained like 20 hit points. Freaking ridiculous. All right, Gold Leaf. Not bad, 16. And then Dark Mage now has access. He is 11th level, so that's six level spells, which is Disintegrate, Entrapment, Fantastic Freeze, Recharge Item, and Super Shock. Fantastic Freeze and Super Shock, I think, will be uh, better offensive spells. Let me take a look real quick. Fantastic Freeze uh, is... 10 points of damage per level of the caster, so it's gonna be 110 damage to creatures not in combat. It only affects three of them. Super Shock, though, is a single target, but it does 20 points of damage per level of the caster. So that's gonna be 220 damage from Dark Mage for single target. So if we need, like, if we're fighting one thing that's really tough, you know, he can chew on it pretty good. Like, he'd actually probably be okay in some of the black battles of that, if I had to guess. Alright, back to Middlegate. So... Where do we go from here? Uh, I honestly don't know. I mean, like I said, we can we can just essentially map. Like that's basically at this point all that we can do. Um, and that's actually what we should be doing because that's how we're gonna like find stuff like Korak's soul and stuff. But I think finding his soul is gonna be my next goal. So I'm going to troll through all of our map data and see if we've got where he is. I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, and that will probably be what we start on next time. So as per usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you all had a good time. And I will see you all next time, wherein the adventure continues. Until then.